There are a couple of different ways that we can send the snare drum into the reverb that we've just created. One way is to do a very analog style send from the encoders. The other way is to use the faders. So we're going to look at how we do that. But before we do, I just need to show you where the buses are actually configured. So if we go to buses 13 to 24, the last four faders here are our master effect sends to lexicons 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the OLED display over here confirms this. Now those are the effect sends into the lexicon reverb. Now we need to see how we can get the returns from those processors back into the console. So if I now select bank D in the input fader select area, I can now see that the last four faders turn blue. These are my effects returns, and the OLED displays above the faders confirm this. Now that we can see where the effect sends are and where the effects returns are, we need to decide how we're going to send individual channels to those effects processors. So the first method we're going to use is very much a traditional analog way of doing it. And to do that, we're going to use the global mode facility that we looked at earlier. We're going to use these bus buttons over here. Now there are three buttons, starting with bus 1 to 8, bus 9 to 16, and bus 17 to 24. Now these cover all 24 of the buses. So what we know is that our bus that we're looking for is bus 24. That's the one that we've made into the drum plate. So I'm going to press the button that says 17 to 24. Now this brings up, firstly, bus 17 as a default. And I have to use the scroll button to scroll down to bus number 24, which is labeled for us as lexicon 4. So now we have an effect send to lexicon 4 for each of the channels using the encoder. So all I need to do is switch the send on by pressing it and then just bring up the level. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create an effect send mix using the faders on the input channel. And in order to do this, we have a very powerful feature on the console, which is known as Fader Glow. And Fader Glow is what you see all over the console, where you see the fader slot actually illuminating different colors. So as you've seen as we've worked on the lexicons, they illuminate in a light blue color. The method we're going to use now employs the fader follow button over here. I'm now going to select lexicon 4, which is the send I created to the drum reverb earlier. And I'm going to use the faders button in the follow output select section, which will now turn my input faders into sends to the selected bus, which is lexicon 4. And you can see that the input faders have now turned blue so that I know that they're going to the lexicon processor. So all I need to do now is to turn on the send for the channel I want to send to the reverb and bring up the fader. <laughs> 